Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly. Today I'm going to show you the tutorial for this really pretty necklace and earring set that I made using the carnelian beads, the six millimeter round ones, and the oval links, the jump rings. The jump rings with along with the oval links. And then I just made this little handmade pendant. I have did my little technique for connecting all of those carnelian beads together like this. And if you're not familiar with the Bargain Bead Box, it is a great monthly box. It's $22.99 a month and is valued at like $60 to $70 if you were to buy everything separately. So I have a coupon code for BNJ2 for $2 off your first box with them. And this is for the May 2024 box, um, Bargain Bead Box Tropical Heat. So if you would like to learn how to make a list, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting off by making these cute little three beaded round little components that then I'm going to use in the front just to add some interest to the necklace. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you what I'm using. I'm using some Beetle on Wildfire, the black. You can use clear if you want. I had black and I have a number 10 uh, uh, beading needle. So I'm taking the, let me get everything here, the carnelian, the six millimeter carnelian rounds. I'm also taking some four millimeter fire polish beads. They have like an AB finish, so it gives it a little interest. I'm using the faceted Randell spacer beads. And then I'm using some of my check glass, the transparent gold um, seed beads, and I'm using some of the sapphire six O's beads. Hold on one second, let me make sure this lighting is really good before I start. Okay, and what else? I'm using some of these um, oval ring link components. I have some seven uh, centimeter jump rings, quite a few of those, and an ear wire because we are also going to be making this earring at the end. I think that was it. And so, oh, and I also, let me cut this, I also have some of the Beetle on Satin Gold that I'm gonna use for the necklace. Let me go ahead and cut some of this. I usually put it around my neck just to kind of measure it. And I will tell you where this is then. And I always cut a little extra because Lord knows if you've been following me for a while, you've seen me fight with some of these. Uh, or I don't have enough, um, enough uh, beading wire. So this is 12. This is about 23 and a half inches. So just so I have enough for around the neck. So I'm putting that to the side real quick. So I'm going to make one of these and show you how I make this. So I have my threaded needle. And I'm going to take three of these. And you will need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You will need nine of these. Nine of these little components. So... I'm taking one of the 11 O's, one of the carnelians, another 11 O, another carnelian, and then ending, so there's three of each. So this is what I have. And I'm bringing it down towards the end, like this. And then I'm holding that like that and I'm going up through all of them again. So, going up through all of them again. And then I just kind of bring it around, kind of tighten it up a little bit till I get it like that. Then I'm going to tie it One, two, 
two. I used to use my bed chain nose pliers to kind of give it a little tuck. And then I'll cut it down by that. And then I like to, after I cut it, I like to take this just go through it a little more to kind of secure it a little more so it's kind of tight. I'll kind of go through it one more time, you know, going around another time, maybe two times. And it just really reinforces all of that. Let me see here. Oh, they're about right there. Okay, so there we have that. And I'm gonna cut this. So as you can see, so I'm gonna put that needle aside now. So as you can see, I've already made um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, I need one more. Sorry, I need one more for the other earring. That's right, okay. I get to do this one more time. So, gold 11O, carnelian 11O, carnelian. 11 0 carnelian. Okay. So, go all the way down, leave some room for a tail. And then, so I got about two inches here, and it's just because I'm showing you. You know, if you don't use that much for a tail, you don't need to. Okay. Go up through there again. And then I pull right here. Okay. So now I kind of, I'm left handed, so I kind of have to do this on a, my way here. Okay. So I do that. Pull that tight, and then you do this. Do it one more time. Take my bent chain nose pliers and just kind of give it a little pull. Then I take my cutters and I cut that, put that down, and then, like I said, I go around through. Quite a few times, just because I think it kind of tightens it up, makes it a little more secure. We've got storms coming through here today in Florida. It's like a gray day. I guess I'm not going to get my walk in. I like to, like, when I'm filming all day, take a little break and go for a walk. Kind of. Okay. So. Go through one more. Okay. And now I go down to here and I cut it. And now you can move that out of the way. Okay. So now I have, before I get started on that, let me get started on my little pendant here. So I have these three. One, two, three. I have the three um, oval rings. So what I'm doing, to put these out of the way, I am, I'm gonna use my round nose pliers and my bent chain nose pliers. So I'm gonna open this up. This is my seven um, centimeter jump ring. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna take seed beads and I'm going to put one, two, three. I'm going to lift it up a little more like that. I'm going to do four. Five. So you see how I've got that like that? Now I'm going to put two ovals in there. So it's a pretty filled up little compartment and I'm going to close it. Make 
make sure it's closed really well. And then I'm going to lift that up to do this. So, and I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna open up another one like that. I'm gonna put five in there again. One, two, oh, three, and two more, four, five. I'm gonna make sure this is up. I'm up here enough so I have enough room. And then I'm gonna take one of these and then another new one. And then I'm going to close this up. Oh, let me make sure it's all closed up here. Oh, and let me see. And this is why I like my round nose pliers. I can bend it in like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have. That's how we get to this right here. And now I like to take one more of these, open it up, and I like to put, here, I'm gonna kind of go down here a little more so I can get these in. And I like to put some of the 11-0 seed beads on because they look pretty on there. They kind of cover up the jump ring, make it look, to me it makes it look a little more like a finished piece of jewelry, if that makes sense. Four, five, six. It doesn't have to be a ton of them. Six. Oh, now I'm starting to get seven. I'll do eight and eight. And then I put this on in there and then I close this. Like I said, I like to use my round nose pliers because if I need to bend things, I think they're the best. Okay, so here we have that. So this is gonna be our decoration. And now here's my my thread. So I'm going to put one second. Okay. I'm gonna put this on either side, and now I'm going to put a four millimeter on this side and a four millimeter on this side. Like this. And now we want to make sure when you put this on the thread that it's inside the center of that. So that's why you want to make it kind of tight like that. Just do that. And then another fire polish bead. Another one of these. Another fire polish bead. These. Like that. And then this, and one more fire polish bead. So you have four on each side. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to do fire polish. Like this. Fire polish, this, and fire polish, this, okay. So, here we are, right here. Now, we are going to, let me see, let me get these. Okay, so I have these. So now, right here, I'm gonna do a fire polish bead like that and a gold a blue another gold and another fire polish bead so 
I have it like that. And then I'm going to do the carnelian. And I'm gonna do that again. Fire polish bead and then gold, blue, gold, and fire polish like that. And then I'm going to take, let me grab some of these. So I have these, so now I'm going to do carnelian, spacer, carnelian, spacer, and carnelian. So I have that. So now I'm going to put this clip on over here and I'm going to go to the other side and finish this side now. So I get to that. And like I said, you want to make sure that the wire is going right through the middle of those three beads because if not, it's not going to lay right then. So then I'm going to do this over here. So I do the fire polish, then I do gold, blue, gold, and fire polish. And a carnelian. I love these colors together. And then fire polish, gold, blue, gold, fire polish, like that. And then I'm going to go with the, the carnelian, the spacer. Carnelian, spacer, and carnelian. Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. Let me lay this down so you can see this. I think that looks really cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this section again. So I'm going to do a fire polish, and then I'm going to do a gold, blue, gold, Fire polish and carnelian. And then the fire polish. And then oh, gold, all the fire polish. And then gold, blue, gold, fire polish. Like that. And then I'm going to do the carnelians again. Carnelian. Spacer. Carnelian. Spacer. And carnelian. So there I have that. Now I'm going to go over to this side and do these. Okay. So I have this, so now I'm going to do this whole thing again. Let me get some more of my fire polish beads. Okay. So now I'm going to do fire polish, gold, blue, gold, fire polish, and carnelian. And then fire polish, and then gold, blue, gold, fire polish, like that. You see that? And then we're going to do, oh, carnelian, spacer, carnelian, Spacer and carnelian. So let me hold. I'm holding this. I know it's out of focus, but I'm holding this up against my neck because I'm just kind of trying to see where this is laying. I love this. I think this looks so pretty. Okay. So now we're going to 
Do that a couple more times. Get some more of the blue ones. And I'm gonna take this little spacer and move that out of the way. And so now we're gonna go for one more section with that. We're gonna do fire polish. And then gold, blue, gold. Then a fire polish, and carnelian. And fire polish, and then and you can use whatever color combo you want. I liked um, this combo because if you could see it, but these fire polish beads have that little AB finish, and it's almost the same. It's pretty much the same color as the blue in there, so you get that little speckle. So we're there, and then we're gonna do the carnelian. Spacer, carnelian, spacer, and carnelian. Okay. Look at that. So now we have, going one more time with this round, fire polish and then gold. Blue, gold, fire polish, and then carnelian, and then fire polish, gold, blue, gold, fire polish. And now we're gonna do this one more time. Carnelian spacer. Carnelian spacer. Carnelian. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this up to my neck. And I think this is good. So now I'm going to end it on each side with this one group of fire polish and then gold, blue, gold, and fire polish. Oh, I forgot to get my crimp covers and crimp beads. Sorry about that. I'll get those really quick. And then I'm going to do one more of the fire polish and then the gold, blue, gold and fire polish. Okay, so I'm ending this there. Okay, so now I'm going to take, put these out of the way while I'm finishing this up. I just think it makes it easier. Okay, so I have this now. Get my crimp from covers. I totally forgot to get those. One, two. Crim beads. And lobster clasp. I have them in little baggies. I know a lot of people use containers, but I like having all my stuff in little baggies. I think it just, I don't know. You can move them around better. And then I need two. One, two. These are, I think these are five. These are five millimeter, five centimeter. Okay, so we have this. So I'm going to do this one side, and then I'm going to make sure that all of this is laying right before I do the other side. So I start by opening up this crimp cover like that. 
And just putting it down a little bit. I don't, because it's the first side, I don't really need to be completely crazy about the way it's laying. Um, so I go down about an inch and a half. And then I take my band chainos pliers and I pick up that crimp bead. Let me get that down a little more. And I make sure that it's right in the middle of the wire. And I smash it down. Okay, and then I pull on it. I take my round nose pliers to flip it over. Put it down into that. Feed that down in there like that. Then I take the bent chain nose pliers to make sure that it's in a good position. And then I start closing it. And I don't squeeze it too hard, you know. So this is so secure when you do it like this. And then and then I will, if it, if it allows, I will just feed the wire down through the beads. I won't even cut it because to me, it's just a little extra insurance. Okay, so I have all that down there. So now I'm gonna pull this all the way down like this. And then I kind of have it around like that. So I'm going to lift this up and make sure all of these are centered right. They look like they are. And then I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna do the earrings afterwards then. And then I'm gonna put this through there and put that all the way down. And put the crimp bead, put that all the way down. So that's down there. Now I lift this up. I know it's kind of a little out of view, but I lift it up and then I take my bent chain nose pliers and I go inside. Let me get this up. Okay, and I go inside of the crimp cover and then I just lift the crimp bead up just a hair and I squeeze it. There we go. And I make sure that it's really secure and it's squeezed really tight, not coming out of there. Then I will pull on it. I know that's good. And I will take my round nose pliers and just feed it down there a little bit. Like I said, I'll go down a little farther. And then it'll eventually like pop out of somewhere And then I will. Oh, it sounds like it's going to start storming again. <laughs> it's like today is my filming day. And of course, it's storming out. <laughs> okay, so I did that. So now, I'll take my Vencino's pliers. And I'm going to close that up like that. Then I'm going to take my flush cutters. And I'm going to go right there. Clip that, throw that out. So now I have a jump ring. And I'm going to put that on it like that. Close that up. Make sure it's closed. Then I take my round nose pliers. And if you could see right here, I just do that back just a hint, just to put that little curve in there. And then I put this in there about that length and I round that down like that. And then for this jump ring, I make sure that it's totally closed because you know when you get them, they're not completely closed. Okay, then I take this and I Bend it back like that. 
put that in. And then I close that like that. So then we have this. And I'll show you how I do the earring next. So here's this really pretty, fun, and interesting necklace, I think. Okay, so now we have for this, we have a head pin, or an eye pin, and the eye pin is two inches. I'm measuring these because I pulled this all out of my stash. So this is the one we're making next. Okay, so now I'm going to take the eye pin and where is okay here's the little gold beads so now if you look at it it's a gold bead it's a gold bead it's a gold bead then a blue then a carnelian Then this fun little contraption. <laughs> then another carnelian. And another blue. And then a gold. Okay. So that's how I made that right there. Then I'm going to bend that to the side. Like that, go down about mm, a little more than a half an inch, close my eyes, <laughs> and then I take my round nose pliers and I will just kind of, I go, I use different lengths on the round nose pliers just to shape it, to get it into a nice circle, like that. Then I will take the seven centimeter jump ring, and I will do like I did right here with this, and I will do one, two, three, four, five, and this, and then I will put this on it as well. And then before I go any further, I need to scoot up like that. There we go. And then go in there and make sure that's totally closed like that. And then we have this. And then I'm going to take my ear wire. And I'm going to put this on. And here we have it. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think this was a really fun and creative way to use up the, the, canary, the carnelian beads. Um, I just, I love the colors. I love the blue with the carnelian. I think it looks really pretty. But I love the pink too. I already have another video for this. I will post this at the end. So stay tuned. So thank you everybody for watching and stay tuned for that next video that I know you will love. All of my information is below in that description and you have a great day and don't forget to use my bargain bead box code BNJ2 for $2 off your first box. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Have a